to me, I think it's a vital, it was a vital um, organisation that I felt that consumers and carers could actually um, go to and be able to uh, voice concerns or be able to be part of um, committees, etc., to be able to be a force within uh, the system. And um, I felt, uh, you know, like being part of a family and being able to be, uh, to talk to people like-minded and uh, be able to uh, express myself uh, in an open way and being able to um, get things on the table. Now, I feel that uh, the HCA uh, was very strong. It was able to uh, get a lot of consumers and carers into committees, uh, which we would never have known about, which is very, very important because these days, um, sometimes places just put out expression of interest without a lot of us knowing about it. HCA gave us a platform to be able to get out there and and we're trying to get the right people for the committee. So that was very, very important to be able to have that. Um, so HEA was a real, real benefit for the state. It actually was known, and it was known through the whole network. So much so that it was uh, well known that obviously there was obviously a decision to probably derail it because it obviously was keeping everyone honest and being able to um, get people on board and being able to bring all the consumers and carers into one spot. Um, it was very, very strong. To me, I'm not going to say it's a union, but it was like a form of a union where we were looking after the people that were being serviced, which are the, the consumers and their carers uh, or loved ones that were looking after them. To me, that was very, very important. Losing someone like HDA is that we've actually lost an identity out there to be able to combat the issues that consumers and carers constantly having to encounter day to day. Unfortunately, I find that uh, for a lot of consumers and carers who are going through hardships, uh, they only have so much energy uh, to expel out to probably uh, fight the cause, etc. At least HCA was there as a support base forum and being able to give them the tools to be able to, uh, to tackle the situations uh, with the loss of HCA, I feel that we're diluting, again, back to the individual only consumer and carers uh, that obviously, one, have the time to do it, um, and two, and when I say have the time, that they're not going to be emotionally attached to it, which unfortunately is not a true indication of the population that they're probably covering. I'm not saying that the ones that are tackling it aren't the right people, but we sometimes need to remember people that are going through the situation need to be heard. They need to be able to have that voice and losing someone like HCA as that support base is going to be really detrimental to being able to get that service uh, to the standards that we need, especially in these days where organisations are trying to accredit themselves to partnering with the consumers and the carers I believe that that is being diluted now. It just, um, I hate to think, it, it, it really, it really reeks the, the means of someone trying to undermine. It's just like, you see like the Mental Health Commission that how they had it out there and then they brought it back under the uh, the health and well-being, um, you know, uh, area. It, it's just like, how do you have an independent body? If you don't have an independent body, you don't have an independent voice.